Now you might decide that actually these buttons aren't for you and you'd like to keep it a little bit simpler. So I'm going to show you a way that we can add a something to our navigation that will just use HTML and it won't use, we won't have to go into Photoshop and make something. So with clicked in where you want to insert this, we can right click and we can go down to properties. Now you can go down to properties as long as you are in design mode, not live mode. If you're in live mode, it's not going to work. So make sure that you are in design mode up here. And then we can right click and we can go down to properties. Properties will bring up this box of different things that we can do. Now I need to make sure that I'm clicked in to where I want to be affecting the properties. So I'm really clear of where this is going to take place. And I can come down here to where it says BG and BG stands for background. I can come and I can pick the background color that I want this to have. So I might choose, I don't know, this kind of gray color and I can just click outside this box and it will apply that gray color to this navigation bar. So if I wanted to just color this section, I can give it a background color there. I can also add in some text. So I might, this might be my home button so I can type in the word home. Now I might want this to have certain styles applied to it. So I'm gonna to go to the CSS tab. So we've got the HTML tab that we're at at the moment. I'm gonna go down to the CSS tab and I've got a few different rules that I didn't have on the HTML tab. So first one, I can choose the font. So we might go for, let's say, Lucidia Grand or Impact, okay? And you can choose your different font. We can also choose the position that will be in the cell. So I can say center, right, uh, I can update them and I can do that. I can also tell it what size to be. So I might want it to be, you know, nice and large in order to stand out if it's my navigation. So there we go, you can see it getting larger or I could make it smaller, um, whatever I want to do with that. And I can also choose the, the color of my font. So I might decide that I want to have this, I don't know, black. And so I change the, the font to black or I might decide that actually I want it to be red and so I can change the font to red or you can you can do anything you like in order to, to customize this text. So we've got the background color here, we've positioned the text and we've uh, looked at the font color. One thing, one other thing that we can do with this text is we can jump back into the HTML and we can give it a link so we can link this to the page that we want it to go to. Now Dreamweaver is going to pick up all of the pages that current we are currently linking to and give them as options. So if I go here and click on this little drop-down menu, you'll be able to see that it's already realized that I plan to have something called home.html. You'll I haven't created this page yet, but I did link my rollover button to home.html. So it has picked that up. So I'm going to use that because this is going to be my home button as well. Obviously, you would have this go to a different page. And so I'm going to tell it to link to home.html and if I didn't, if it wasn't on the drop-down menu, I could then come into here and I could just tell it home.html. Or if you already had that page, you could click on it here and get it to link, press okay. And that will link there. So now that we've done those page properties, that should all be linked nicely, I believe. There we go, I had to highlight the text. So I've highlighted the text there and now that's updated the link for me. Uh, because I didn't have the text highlighted, it wasn't actually linking it. Um, but that has done the trick. And now I've got this and you can see it's become a hyperlink. I'm just going to press the X on this properties window to close it. I'm going to go into live view and we can see here that when my mouse goes over the home, it changes into a little hand there. And the same here when it goes over this rollover button, I get a little hand and over here I get nothing. Now, one thing we just need to address before we finish is we, oh, let's go back into split view. This table division here has changed size and that's not very good. So we need to make sure that it is sticking to the same as all our other table divisions. So I'm gonna copy what's in my table division that I did with my rollover image, the height and the width. I'm just gonna Control C and copy that. And I'm gonna come down to my next table division. In order to find that, I'm just gonna click on this TD here uh, because we can see it's added in a lot of stuff about the font, the font size, the color. And you could, if you wanted to come down here and change the font size quite quickly without going into the properties. Um, but sometimes it's easier just to use the properties. And right at the start of this TD, just like all the other starts of the TD, I'm just gonna put a space and then paste in 
my height and my width just so that it's clear how wide this should be. And we can see now that that has resized itself and it's in a much better position. So there are three different ways of setting up your navigation bar there. Obviously, this is a very inconsistent style that I have picked because I am showing you lots of different methods. You would pick one and, and stick to it, um, depending on the style of your website.